Let's get you now to Antioch and a heartbroken family at odds with the city over speed bumps. Someone installed speed bumps last week on a street where the couple's son was killed in a hit and run. But as Night Beats Kristen Ayers shows us tonight, they're gone. Kristen? Yeah, while the Hudson family was away at their son's funeral, not only did the city rip out the speed bumps that were here, you can see they also painted over the stenciled slow signs that neighbors had painted on the roadway there. The city saying all of that was illegal. His ashes are in here. It was a day of mourning for Linda Hudson. Today she said goodbye to her son Timothy, killed three weeks ago in a hit and run in front of her home. I carried Timmy out there on my lap in the urn. She never expected that while she was away, this was happening. Yeah, but yet they got the money to come out here and do this kind of bull Antioch police standing watch while city workers yanked up the speed bumps a group of men drilled into the ground last week to force drivers on this street to slow down. By the time the Hudsons returned from the service, the speed bumps were gone. And some drivers were back to tearing recklessly down West 11th Street. I can't stand it. I cannot stand it. I want somebody to do something, something. It, this can't go on. This wasn't right today. Antioch's mayor would not speak to me on camera. He told me he's sorry for the family's loss, but they will need to follow proper protocols for installing a speed bump, including getting the signatures of 75% of property owners in the area. So far, I'm numbered up to 116, and it's front and back. The Hudsons have already begun a petition, though they say you haven't seen the last of those speed bumps. They'll go back in, with or without the city. They'll be back in, bottom line. Now, in order to get the legal speed bumps put in, the Hudsons would also need the approval of the police and fire department, the school districts. They would also need a traffic survey conducted out here. The Hudsons are saying they will see the mayor and the rest of the city officials at the next city council meeting. Live in Antioch, Kristen Ayers on the Night Beat.